Ping. Yeah. President will be right with you. He's outside. We're getting him. Just a moment. This London Johnson, I had a call uh, uh, from you and I tried to reply to it a couple of times, Savannah and uh, different places, and they said you were traveling and I got to traveling last night, just just got out here to meet the Prime Minister of Canada this morning and I I uh, had a moment I thought maybe we better try to, I better try to reply to your call. Well, I certainly appreciate the, the time to call and I don't want to take um, but that's a good minute of I'll tell you what our problem is. We've got to try with every force at our command, and I mean every force, uh, to get these education bills that uh, go to those people under $2,000 a year income, a uh, billion and a half, and this poverty that's a billion and a half, and this health that's going to be 900 million next year, right at the bottom. We've got to get them passed before uh, the, the, the vicious forces are concentrate and, uh, and get them a coalition that can block them. Then we have got to, uh, uh, so we won't divide them all and get them hung up in a filibuster. We've got to, when we get this, these big things through that we need, Medicare, education, I've already got that hearing started the 22nd in the House, 26th in the Senate. Your people ought to be very, very uh, 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 diligent in looking at those committee members that uh, come from urban areas that are friendly to you to see that those bills get reported right out because uh, you have no idea, it's shocking to you, uh, how much benefits uh, uh, they will get. Uh, there's eight billion five hundred million this year for education compared to seven hundred million when I started. Uh, so you can imagine uh, you can imagine uh, what effort that's going to be. And this one bill is a billion and a half. Now, if we can get that, and we can get a Medicare, we'll get that by February. Uh, then uh, uh, we get our poverty. Uh, that will be more than double what it was last year. Then we've got to come up with the uh, uh, qualification of the voters. That will answer 70% of your problems. If you just clear it out everywhere, make it age and read and write. No tests on uh, uh, what Chaucer said or, or Browning's poetry or constitutions or, or memorizing or anything else. And then you may have to put them in the post office. Let the postmaster, that's a federal employee that I control, uh, who they can say is local, he's recommended by the congressman, he's approved by the senator. But if he doesn't register everybody, I can put a new one in. And uh, it's not an outside Washington influence, it's a local man. But they can just all go to the post office like they buy a stain. Now, I haven't thought this through, but that's, uh, that's my general feeling. And I've, I've talked to uh, the Attorney General, and uh, I've got them working on it. I don't want to start off with that any more than I do with 14B, because I wouldn't get anything else. Do you, and I don't want to publicize it. But I want you that's that's I want you to know the outline of what I had in mind. Yes, well I remember you mentioned it to me the other day when we met at the White House and I have I've been very diligent in not uh, making this statement. Well your statement was perfect about the votes important, very important, and I think it's good to talk about that and uh, I just don't see how anybody can say that a man can fight in Vietnam but he can't vote uh, in uh, the post office. Well, Mr. President, I'll tell you the main thing I wanted to share with you uh, really rolls out of conversations that I've had with uh, all of the 
civil rights leaders, I mean the heads of the civil rights organization. Yeah. As well as uh, many people uh, around the country that I have traveled. Uh, we have uh, a strong feeling that it would mean so much first the health of our whole democracy, but uh, to the Negro and to the nation to have uh, a Negro in the cabinet before the business really be uh, a great step forward for the nation, for the Negro, uh, for our international image, and uh, to do so much to give many people a lift who need a lift now, and I'm sure that Millions of Negroes who, uh, millions of Negro youth feel that they don't have anything to look forward to. I agree with that. I have, uh, uh, I have not uh, publicly uh, shouted from the housetop, but uh, I, I have had them sit in with me. Uh, I, the first move I made was to put one on the Security Council and to put one in uh, in the charge of uh, every bit of uh, uh, the information that went to all of the 120 nations and take him out of an important ambassador post. And I am trying my best to get to, uh, the, the uh, uh, housing and urban and city problems, which is the number one problem in America, as I see it, made into a cabinet post. I have a good chance of, of getting it done unless I get tied in with the racial thing. I'm going to concentrate all of the executive power I can to get that done. Uh, I'm uh, pretty halfway committed to uh, putting in uh, Weaver, who I consider to be a very able administrator and done a good job, and uh, uh, who uh, we respect pretty highly. Uh, and uh, I. Uh, uh, I, I'm trying to bring in others as assistants and deputies. I talked to them and it, no longer than two hours ago about trying to get one in charge of uh, maybe African affairs if Williams left. Uh, I don't know whether you know him or not, but I'm just giving consideration. I don't want to get it around, but it's this fellow Carter that runs the African desk for the Peace Corps. Oh, yeah. Do you know him? I just know I don't know him well. What? He's very, very able, and we've got George Weaver over in the Labor Department, and I'm bringing him in uh, uh, just as fast as I can. I gave Carl Rowan the top job uh, over, uh, I would guess that eight out of the ten people I talked to uh, felt like that I had problems there, but uh, up to now, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he sits with the Security Council on everything. He participates just like Secretary of State. Uh, and I'm going to, I uh, don't want to make a commitment on it because I don't want to get tied down to the Congress, but I'm going to shove as strong as I can to uh, get the biggest department there, housing, urban affairs, city, transportation, everything that comes in that department that involves the urban areas of America into one department. And then if I can get that done without having to commit one way or the other, uh, my hope would be that I could put the man in there, and probably it would be Weaver, uh, because I think we have a more or less a moral obligation to a fellow that's done a, 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 a he's done a good job, and he hasn't uh, he hasn't disappointed anybody. If we put somebody into a job and he fails, we lose three steps when we go ahead one. And I haven't had any of that. If you'll notice it, we haven't had any uh, uh, mistakes or any corruption or any scandals of any kind, and uh, and I've moved them in, uh, uh, I mean, uh, by the wholesale, uh, uh, the, uh, both women and men. Yeah, well, this, uh, I, this, this is very encouraging, and I was, as I said, very concerned about this, and I know how others uh, have been mentioning that uh, what this could mean. I have seen where they considered uh, Whitney for uh, Whitney Young for a place with a uh, uh, cop job uh, with Shriver. Uh, he's running two shows and uh, maybe as a kind of associate uh, uh, director with Shriver, uh, 
uh, with the poverty group. I thought that ought to get underway a little bit. I don't know what Shriver said about it. I have very high regard for Whitney. I like him. I don't feel, I honestly don't feel, that uh, with Roy Wilkins or with you or with Randolph or with uh, 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 the man uh, from Core uh, that meets with us, I don't really think I have a moral obligation to any of them like I have to Weaver who has been in there. And it's kind of like you being assistant pastor of your church for 10 years with the understanding of your deacons that you would be take over and then you they lose and they don't get to make a pastor and then you continue to carry on and then finally when a good day comes they say well you get back sit at the second table i just don't feel like saying that to weaver yeah. now, weaver's not my man i didn't bring him in he's a he's kennedy man but uh, i just uh, think that uh, there'd be a pretty uh, revolutionary uh, feeling about him uh, uh, I, I, Carl Rowan's not my man. He's a Kennedy man, but he's got the biggest job in government, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Kennedy job. He sits with the captain every time. He sits with the security council every time, and I did it the first month I was in office. Yeah. I don't throw it around to uh, to cause him to be attacked by his appropriations because the Southerners handle him. McClellan handles his appropriations. Uh, but uh, after we get by pretty well this year and I can get this reorganization through, I will not only have uh, people uh, uh, like Weaver and Carter and undersecretaries places, but we'll, uh, we'll have Rowling uh, uh, head there and we'll have uh, uh, Weaver and uh, perhaps uh, some other folks on the order of Whitney and whoever you all think's good. Well, we think very highly of Whitney. And, uh, I do too. I do too. You know, he's worked uh, very closely in our in our uh, uh, equal employment, and he's done a very good job in about 60 cities where his people uh, have uh, branches on employment. And I rather think that uh, that that uh, there's been substantial progress, not enough, but I rather think there's been substantial progress with industry on a higher level, don't you? I think so. There's no doubt about it. Every corporation I talked to, and I talked to about 30 of them yesterday, they are looking for Negroes that can do the job that a George Weaver does or a Carl Rohinger uh, does or a fellow like Weaver does. If we have some of them, and if you have some of them, and you get them to Hobart Taylor, we can find uh, companies that will use men of that quality. Then when they get in, they can look after the ones below them like you're looking after your people. There's not going to be anything, though, Doctor, as effective as uh, all of them. That'll get you a message that all the eloquence in the world won't bring coast, the world won't bring coast, the world won't bring coast, the world won't bring coast.